everyone, my name is Virginia and I'm a second year architecture student. Our tour begins at the oldest building on our campus, Old Main. This building was built in 1875 and features a clock bell tower which can be heard across campus at noon and 5 p.m. The names of the University of Arkansas's first graduating seniors are engraved into the pavement in front of the building. This marks the beginning of the senior walk, which is now more than five miles long. Senior walk continues all around campus with engravings of more than 175,000 alumni names dating back to 1876. Old Main is enhanced with a large lawn that students and community members use for picnics, hammocking, and even photo shoots. Ball Walker Hall is right across from Old Main and it is the center of the campus. Ball Walker Hall is home to the Faye Jones School of Architecture and Design. As a design student, you are assigned your own personal desk in your assigned studio space. These desks come in handy for storing all of our stuff and keeping it safe. We are also given key card access in order to access the building at all hours of the day and night. Our school features awesome resources like the wood shop for model making, the design lab for laser cutting, CNC work, and 3D printing, the media center, the fabrications lab, the plot center, showers, and even a nap room. All of these resources play a major role in the iterative design process. If you want to see the inside of these spaces, check out our intro to Faye Jones School of Architecture and Design video. The transition from high school to university can be pretty intimidating. However, design students have pretty small class sizes, so they have the opportunity to form more personal relationships with classmates and professors. As a design student, expect to travel a lot. Each year, students are taken on professor-led studio trips to visit their project site and personally experience famous historical architecture. Design students also have the privilege of studying abroad for at least one semester. My name is Brian Pepsel. I'm the Assistant Director of Study Abroad at the University of Arkansas, and I manage all study abroad programming for the Faye Jones School. I think it's really important for design students to study abroad uh, because it's important as a designer to see lots of different types of buildings and spaces and experience different cultures. Uh, to learn how to build or to learn how to make space, you need to see a lot of it. Um, you can study buildings in photographs and drawings and videos, uh, but it doesn't replace actually being in the space and seeing how the space operates as you move through it um, and as conditions change with light um, and environment. As an alumnus of the architecture school, um, I am around a lot. Um, we would love to help any student um, at any level they're at in the study abroad process in terms of financial advising, personal advising, um, helping a student figure out what your goals are and how you can make that happen as a part of your undergraduate career. Moving across campus, the Student Union is one of the biggest student hubs on campus. Lots of students use this building to hang out and chat with friends between classes, but the building is also full of resources, great places to eat, and entertainment. If you're looking for a quick snack or smoothie, you can go to places like Club Red or where the Wild Greens are. For a bigger meal, you can visit the food court and decide between all of the restaurants there. The Union also has spaces like the salon, the post office, the computer lab, the treasurer's office, and the meeting rooms. You can attend events in the Ann Cottrell Art Gallery, the Verizon Ballroom, or the Union Theater. Or you can play video games or create music in the Student Technology Center. You can also get to know students from diverse backgrounds at the Multicultural Center. My name is Brandi Flack and my role at the Multicultural Center is as a director for our retention program. So my main role um, and job responsibility is to work with students to help them graduate from college. What we do is we want to make sure that we are highlighting all of our cultural heritage months. So we have an event called First Friday and the first Friday of every month we um, highlight whatever month that is um, that we want to make sure we're bringing students together, that we're celebrating, um, and that we're putting up information that educates students that come by the center for what that minority group or diversity group is, and some history, why it is, why we celebrate, what we're celebrating, and different elements of that celebration. I think the Multicultural Center is a space and place that students need to be. Our space is open from 8 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock at night. We have a um, study space. We have a um, space for prayer and meditation. 
We have a space to bring communities together. We offer free coffee, which is a great um, piece for students who are on campus all evening. We offer a space to put your lunch if you're commuting onto campus. And um, we offer the support that I think all students need. So I highly recommend using that space and, um, and taking advantage of the programs and the unique opportunity for uh, engagement that you won't get anywhere else on campus. The Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium has been the home to the Arkansas Razorbacks football team since 1938. The stadium holds up to 76,000 people, shouting the hog call during every football game. Woo, pig suey! At the University of Arkansas, football is one of our 19 athletic sports. Other sports include baseball, basketball, cross country, golf, gymnastics, soccer, swimming and diving, softball, tennis, track and field, and volleyball. Altogether, these sports are played by almost 570 student athletes. U of A students are a part of a community of driven people with several activities and organizations for everyone to enjoy. From orientation events and signing up for classes to rushing for Greek life, there are so many avenues for students to make connections. This building behind me is known as the Hopper, home of the University Fitness. Here you can take a dip in the pool, play basketball, attend group fitness classes, or play intramural sports. You can also go to the outdoor center or just enjoy the fitness centers. There are so many options for places to live on campus. In 2019, the university opened its newest dorm, Adohi Hall. This dorm is the nation's first large-scale mass timber project of its kind. Adohi Hall is home to the living learning communities for the design disciplines, art, English, music, theater, and innovation. This dorm features spaces like music and art studios, classrooms, an art gallery, performance spaces, soundproof music practice rooms and dance studios. Being surrounded by like-minded people and given the opportunity to practice your craft and learn new skills is important for all of these disciplines. Hi, I'm Brian Holland and I'm an assistant professor of architecture at the Phaedron School here at the University of Arkansas, but I'm also the Adohi Hall faculty in residence. Something that's really exciting about Adohi Hall is that, uh, as the name implies, of into the forest, is that it is built all of mass timber, which means it is a, is a pre-manufactured um, wood product that instead of being built out of concrete and steel exclusively like most buildings in this country, um, it's built out of a renewable uh, resource. For design students, I think Adohi Hall is a really exciting place to live be because, first of all, you have the spectacular architecture um, as your sort of most immediate benefit, right, to really enjoy these wonderful spaces and see and learn from an example of good architecture. Um, but also, certainly the, the spaces and programming that is designed to support um, creativity with the five LLC, creative LLCs who are housed here at Adohi um, is, a, is a great advantage. And also the kind of, I think, the, the networking opportunities that come from meeting friends and peers who are working in theater or music or other creative fields, um, that that is really to your benefit as a design studio to enjoy here at Adohi Hall. The Fine Arts Library opened in 1951 and was thought to be the first of its kind, combining art, architecture, music, dance, speech, and drama in one building with the support spaces of a theater, concert hall, gallery, and library. The collections in the Fine Arts Library include traditional print resources on architecture, landscape architecture, interior design, and visual arts like painting, drawing, sculpture, ceramics, printmaking, and photography. Design students often use the Fine Arts Library as a study space and a reliable place to find information and images you might not be able to find online. My name is Philip Jones. I am the Fine Arts Librarian and the head of the Fine Arts Library at the University of Arkansas. I want to emphasize that the Fine Arts Library offers expert analyses of the built environment. It may be coming from cultural critics, it may be coming from historians, it may be coming from architects and other designers, but a lot of that material is not available through Google. It's behind a paywall, and so we can provide access to that. And if we don't have it because we can't buy everything, then there's always the interlibrary loan service where people can borrow a book from another institution or they can get a scan from a journal article. Here we are at the Greek Theater. It's a unique part of the university. It was gifted to the university by the Chi Omega Sorority in 1930. Throughout the year, several events and concerts are held here, but most of the time, it's just a cool place to come study and hang out. 
This is the University of Arkansas Campus Bookstore. It's located on Garland Avenue, right next to the Garland Parking Garage. Here you can find all the U of A gear that you need. It also has a reading section and a section for textbooks, and it also has a section that houses building materials for the design students. This is where many of the design students actually go and get their materials since it's just a short walk from Vol Walker Hall. Before we say goodbye, we've put together some keywords that describe the University of Arkansas. Razorbacks, Greek life, Texas, athleisure, and kind. Dixon Street, supportive, squirrels, and creative. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a lot about our campus.